What's going on YouTube? Fury Road Stacker here. It's my fourth video on silver. Now this one is going to be about 50 ounces, what 50 ounces looks like, because some of you might be wondering what that looks like, because that might be your goal for the year, or just new to stacking, you want to see what 50 ounces looks like. And I did a video about 40 ounces, so you, if y'all want to check that out, go ahead. But this is about... This is going to be all I'm going to stack this year because I got plans. I'm going to be moving. So, you know, I reached my goal of 50. Even though uh, silver is hovering around $15 an ounce right now, this is the time to buy. But for, for me, unfortunately, I have to get my priorities straight. So, I'm just glad I made it to this mark. And just wanted to show you guys, you know, what this looks like and show you some of my stacks. So, um, got the Eagles here. Uh, got the Maple Leaves. This Maple Leaf is a one and a half ounce. Two of the South Korean ones right here. I really like those. I don't mind paying the premium for those neither. Two of the Britannias. I have three of the Pandas. 2017, 2018, 2019. Uh, two of the Australian. Now I'm not going to get too crazy with the with the Canadian ones neither of the uh, you know the Primal the Animal series. I'm not really going for that aspect. I'm just stacking. So that's why I don't have any of the uh, the Cougars or anything like that. I just got the standard Maples. Uh, two of the Libertads. Alright, and up here is going to be my miscellaneous. And, like I said before, I was going to stack more of the maples than that than I was of the eagles. But I changed my mind on that because if, you know, shit ever hit the fan, I think the eagles are going to be more recognized. Just in case I need to, you know, grab my passport, go to another country. It would be a lot easier to sell those um, eagles than it would be any of this other stuff. So that's why I'm, you know... Going more towards the Eagles for that aspect. But back to my miscellaneous. Um, I know I've seen you guys' comments on the last video. And I will be getting this Japanese girl checked to see if that is real silver or not. Because I did pick that one up off eBay. Then I have a little Philadelphia mint. Not a mint mark. I'm not sure where it was minted, but... Little Philadelphia bar. Sunshine Mint. That was my first purchase. And I got a 10 ounce. 10 ounce bar there. And I got a Philharmonic right there. And I got two. I got two rounds. I got a Buffalo round. And then I got some kind of scale going on there. I have three of the 1964 quarters. Like I said, I think they're pulled out of circulation because i've never found one of my own and i've been through a lot of change now these up here these are uh those are one gram a piece and i gotta say that's the last i'm gonna buy because they were like two to three dollars i believe and one gram it's like that's nothing it's, it's so light it feels like I, I can almost bend those pieces of silver so i'm probably not gonna ever buy a gram Again, you know, my my advice would be stick with the one ounce. It's a better deal. I know some people want to get fractional with it just in case, you know, shit ever it did hit the van. They can have some fractions, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. So I'm going to be sticking with, you know, one to ten ounce items. Well, yeah, guys, um, that's what 50 ounces look like. Now, it... Of course, it'd be, you know, 10 more coins if I didn't have this 10-ounce bar right there. So you can only imagine what 10 more coins looks like on top of that if you want to go that route, doing all coins. But to me, I'm, I'm just stacking. And I like uh, I like a diverse stack. Because these other coins, they're, they're pretty cool to have. So any guys, excuse me, anyways guys, uh, thanks for watching. And good luck stacking. Now I'll see you on the Fury Road.